Hi, I'm Josh, and today I'm going to show you how to make phase 3 chicken tikka dantak from scratch. Dantak is a fantastic hot, sweet and sour dish made using meat, lentils, chilli and sugar. As always, a full list of the ingredients for the dish can be found in the description below. Please take a second to subscribe, like the video and click that notification bell, thanks. To begin, rinse 200 grams of split red lentils until clear, then drain. Add them to a pan on low to medium heat and add 600 millilitres of boiling water. Stir well. Bring to the boil, then turn down and allow to simmer for around 30 minutes, stirring every 10 minutes until they turn to mush. If you're doing this in advance, these will store in the refrigerator for around 3 days. Alternatively, freeze in around 5 tablespoon portions. Next, heat your pan on medium and add 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil along with 1 finely sliced brown or white onion. Fry until soft and beginning to caramelise, stirring every few minutes so nothing sticks. Now add 2 teaspoons of grated garlic and 1 teaspoon of grated ginger and allow to fry for around 30 seconds. Stir in 2 tablespoons of tomato puree watered down with around 4 tablespoons of water and allow to simmer for around a minute to remove the bitterness. Now add in 1 tablespoon of mixed powder or curry powder, half a teaspoon of coriander powder, quarter of a teaspoon of cumin powder, quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of chilli powder, one to two tablespoons of sugar, and half a teaspoon of fenugreek leaves of kasuri methi. Stir in well and allow to cook out for a couple of minutes. If you ever tend to get gritty or grainy curries, it's most likely that you're not cooking out the spices enough at this stage. Now turn up your heat to medium height and add around 150 millilitres of boiling water and stir through well. Allow it to reduce by half without stirring unless it looks like it's about to burn. When it's reduced by half, add in another 150 millilitres, mix through and allow it to reduce for a further couple of minutes. Now add around 5 tablespoons of the cooked lentils and stir through well. Add your choice of protein, today I'm using my yoghurt free chicken tikka and the recipe for this is popping up now and around 1 teaspoon of lemon juice. Coat the pieces of meat to stop them drying out and reduce until the dish is the consistency you require. Please remember to like and subscribe and check out this and other recipes on my website at thecurrycurd.co.uk